this video we're going to learn how to do animations. You can animate text, you can animate a bulleted list and have each item appear one after another, or you can animate shapes or pictures. All you have to do is click on the object you want to animate first, go to the animations pane, add animation, and choose an animation. For instance, you could choose fly in. You can then go to the animations group, go to effect options, and change which direction the animation flies in from. We're going to do the same thing for the other shapes, have them fly in, add animation, fly in. If you want to get a clear picture of what you have animated, I highly recommend opening your animations pane so you can see the order that your animations are going in. We want to delay the yellow shape, so I'm going to click on the yellow shape and I'm going to tell it to delay two seconds. You can also manually drag the animation over to delay it. I'll do the same thing for the green shape, except for this time I want to delay it three seconds. I then don't want to have to click to make each of these play, so I'm going to change them to with previous. So that way they automatically play without me having to click on them. And then when I go to play the show, they will fly in. And since I changed the settings, what we're going to need to do is add that delay back in to make sure that it is there. So two seconds for the yellow and three seconds for the green. Always test your animations to make sure that they look the way that you want. So it's a great idea to play that slideshow. Two seconds later, that should come in, and then the green one. 